I was seeing was a lot of frustrated people. Um, frustrated with their mode of care, frustrated with the lack of tools, the lack of education, um, just fed up with certain um, roadblocks that they would have, you know, so they felt like they, they, there was a, there had to be another way. And so what we did is we started looking for that other way. We started doing some research and we ended up, I ended up finding this really awesome tool called the Zyto through a good a friend of mine. That's a naturopath. And so she taught me how to use it. Uh, it became this really amazing tool to help understand what the body is asking for. So through that whole journey, became a wellness advocate through doTERRA, and doTERRA products happen to be um, some of the best ways to help reverse a lot of the problems that we see with our bodies, them just being um, inundated with toxins, overburdened, deficient, toxic, you know, those kinds of things. And so um, it's been an amazing journey, and I've been able to help thousands of people get healthy all naturally and without the horrible uh, side effects of synthetics. So it's been an amazing blessing. And Velia's here with me, so she's gonna tell you a little bit about herself as well. Hello, my name is Velia Person with uh, Person to Person Consulting, and I am a mental health therapist, and I am also a life enhancement coach. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you. I have a lot of people asking me, what is the Zyto, what is it? And I'm excited to have Dina here with me today. And we're gonna kinda just kind of go back and forth and explain to you what the Zyto is and all its benefits. And Dina's gonna use her experience and let you know exactly how to read or how she reads the Zyto after she scans you. So I'm super excited to be here today. I'm learning something new every day. But again, I get a lot of questions. So I wanna make sure that we answer any questions that you may have today and hopefully have a very thorough video on the steps A to B, I mean, A to Z, basically have A to Z on how to understand the Zyto and the scan because it is specifically tailored to uh, figure out what your specific needs are. Mm -hmm. And even though we don't know what our body needs sometimes, the technology in this, and then I'll explain to you a little further, will pick up everything we need to help you restore your health. Mm -hmm. So really excited you're here with us today mm -hmm. and here we go. Okay, so the Zyto works via this little thing called a hand cradle, okay? And what it does, you put your hand on there, it reads something called the galvanic skin response. So basically we are a whole bunch of electromagnetic energy. That energy gets read and recorded into software. The software has been around since the 1930s and is very similar to a lie detector test. So it's actually really awesome to, you know, just kind of, you get that gut feeling. You're like, I know something's wrong. I know, but I don't, can't really pinpoint what it is. The cool thing is, is the Zyto actually reads that energy that your body is giving off. Each one of us has very unique chemistry. Um, I can't eat the same diet as Velia mm -hmm. and, and thrive, okay? Each one of us needs different nutrients in different amounts. And so the really cool thing is the Zyto picks up on that. So we have different uh, ways to look at your body specifically and determine exactly what it is that's gonna be the best for you. Whether, you know, certain exercise, um, you know, chiropractic, acupuncture, um, you know, different uh, massage, deep tissue massage versus, you know, uh, um, other, other types of different, you know, massage, lymphatic, whatever. So it's really cool because it breaks it all down for you, which is really neat on top of telling you what foods are good and bad for you, uh, which is really <laughs> awesome. Good. <laughs> yeah, which is really cool because sometimes we don't know what to eat. We're all told spinach is great for you. Well, it's not great for everybody. And it's mind blowing when I see somebody and I scan them and they're like, but I was told my whole life spinach yes, is good for me. Yes, you that, know? Was, that was so me. I was going to different... Um, places and trying to, what do I eat? What do I eat? I'm like, eat spinach. Eat. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I hate spinach. And I was shoving it down my throat. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I met Dina and I had the privilege of being scanned where she's like, don't eat spinach. I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, your body just does not like it. And I didn't understand. But as I spent time with her and she reviewed everything for me, I'm like, oh my goodness. Now I know, um, you know, why my body was rejecting it. So she's going to go into the food scan and how everything works. So stay with us. Lots of information. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, please ask here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, 
what we do is we get this really cool printout and it looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna hold that up and you'll notice that the foods are scaled. Now this is the top negative list, okay? Now you'll notice that the top line, those are the worst foods for this person to eat, okay? And so you'll see we have um, blackberry at negative 335. So we like to remove anything from the diet that's over negative 10. So imagine when this person eats blackberries, <laughs> um, they probably get a rash or they get a really upset stomach and every single person's different. So the reaction is gonna be completely different. I can't say what that reaction is gonna be because we are all completely different people, okay? And here's, if I can, Dina, like sure, this is what's interesting, okay? So people tell you to have antioxidants and have this and have mm -hmm. that. So one mm -hmm. would go, okay, let me have blackberries because they're an antioxidant, right? Mm -hmm. And little does somebody know, like if you don't know what your body's not wanting and you're eating blackberries and thinking you're doing something right, it's not till you get onto something like the Zyto yeah. where you start making those positive changes. Mm -hmm. And then for me, if I may share, yeah. when I was eating things that I thought were healthy, they were actually swelling me and I had no idea why. And I remember the mental component of it thinking like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I yeah. can't lose weight. Why am I swollen? And it's not till I met Dina when she scanned me and she said, there's certain things that mm -hmm. your body, body fights against. And we're programmed to think that it's good stuff. And when mm -hmm. all actuality, it's not. Mm -hmm. So she's going to share more about that. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, we're all completely different. And so like give you an, another example. Um, I had a guy that had come to me and he had these rashes all over his arms and he had had them for three or four years. He couldn't figure out what, what it was. The doctor had given him multiple different creams. It never went away. Um, and so when we did his um, scan, peanuts came back as a very high negative food for him. So I said, why don't we cut out the peanuts for a couple weeks and let's see how you do. So within that week period, the first week, his rash went completely away. This was a rash that he had had for two, two to three years, wow. okay? And so just imagine cutting out one food, creating the big difference on your skin. Now it's interesting because what's happening inside, we usually wear outside. So and we're gonna kind of get into that as well. That but sense. foods are one of the number one culprits about how we feel. Like I said, when we, whatever we're putting inside, it's creating a whole ecosystem and a whole slew of reactions, good, bad, ugly, <laughs> and we're then wearing it on the outside or we mentally are living it and we become, um, there's times where we just live in this hell because of basically what we're eating, okay? And then I'm gonna share here, um, Nora just commented. She says, hi, Dina and Velia. Hi, Nora, how are you? She said, the Zyto scan was what finally helped me find out what all my health issues were. Sad to say, after three years of tests, I never got those answers from my physician. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, they're not, you know, very knowledgeable in the area of the, of the Zyto. They don't use, they don't know. Mm -hmm. So they do what they... Nor nutrition. <laughs> Nor nutrition. <laughs> your, right. your average physician gets about 15 to 20 minutes of education on nutrition. And I will tell you, 80% of how you feel is what you're putting in. We heard, we heard that saying our parents tell us, you are what you eat, right? right. And we used to think, that's just silly, right? <laughs> how many of us thought that? I mean, I did. That's just ridiculous. You are what you eat. I'm not a, I'm not a broccoli, you know? But in all actuality, if you're putting crap in, your body's going to run like crap. If you're putting good, healthy food in, your body will run like God intended, like a well-oiled machine. Amen. That's mm -hmm. right. That's so true. Yeah. Okay. So right. we're going to talk a little bit about, well, really quickly, I know that the Zyto scan, so it's a little hand cradle like this. Mm -hmm. And Dina does this so much, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so interesting. So it looks like this, and all you do is basically it's connected to the software, which is on a laptop mm -hmm. here. And all your client does, or all you do, is put your hand over the hand cradle just like this, okay? And depending on how hydrated you are, because we do recommend that you hydrate, right, Dina? Mm -hmm. the, more, the more water, the better. Um, and the scan runs for approximately how long, Dina? How long do you um, take? It depends. A food scan's about five minutes, and okay. a full body advanced scan where we're looking at neurotransmitters, organs and glands, teeth, meridians, and vertebrae, so all five things. And then each component is connected to um, digestive health, um, emotional health, those kinds of things too. So it's basically connecting all that together. So that's going to take about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how hydrated. hydrated. <laughs> so 
I have had it take up to an hour for someone that's extremely dehydrated. What happens is the software can read um, two items per second. Now, it also depends on how many items are all wacky in your body as well. So for the person who's struggling with a lot more things, like Nora said, she had a whole bunch of things happening in her body. And, and so she's going to have probably six or 700 items that we're going to scan for. And so that just imagine that's going to take two seconds um, or one second per two items. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit longer. And with, this is what's so scary. So when I first went scan, I have to share my story because it was just so crazy. So I put my hand on there and I met Dina one night and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a food scan or whatever. And I'm like, let's see if this really works, right? And I'm skeptical because, you know, I've tried a bunch of stuff. So I'm sitting there I'm like, what is this little thing going to do, right? So I'm sitting there and my food scan comes up first and she's like, wow. She goes, you're not, you're not supposed to be eating any nuts. And I'm like, well, I didn't tell her I had an allergy. Like, I didn't say anything to her. So I'm thinking, let's see if this really works. So on my list of negative foods, there were a bunch of different nuts. So she knew then that I was allergic. So she was picking up things. I'm like, how is this picking up everything from your brain to your toe, which is so scary? I'm like, oh, my gosh, how does it work? Right now, I mean, at the point I was tripping out on why it happened, but when she explained the technology portion of it, I was just in awe because she was discovering things about me. She goes, oh, you know, are you having trouble going to the bathroom? Are you ha And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, how does she know my life? And it was like <laughs> she was part of my life and I had just met her. But just having my hand on this cradle, it was amazing the things that I was made aware of. And I am to this day so forever grateful for you and for the knowledge that God's blessed you with because it completely transformed, it changed my life. Um, it also picks up a lot of emotional. When you're the emotional state your body's in, it also picks that up as well. So from there, it, it's a really good foundation as to how we go or what we do to help you uh, improve your quality of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's very important that you bring that up because a lot of times we have something in our lives that is traumatic and then we don't deal with it or maybe we're dealing with it, but we're not really dealing with it. Right. Any kind of trauma that we experience in our lives or even stress or anything that weighs us emotionally, it deposits in an organ or a gland. And then it causes some dysfunction in that organ or gland. And so I'll give you a, a prime example. I had scanned a friend and um, I, I, don't, I didn't really know her that well. Um, she came, to, she was a, a friend of my sister's and... <clears throat> um, I said, wow, you know, you, there's this really heavy um, emotion, like vulnerable and despair and grief. You know, I, I'm like, did something happen? And, um, you know, recently, and she says, I'm coming up on the anniversary of my father's death. And she just started bawling. She was holding all that in, holding it all in. And imagine what that was doing to her, to her insides, to her organs and her glands. You know, and it was so nice to see her release that. And she felt better. She felt better mm -hmm. afterwards. And there's sometimes where we don't make that connection, where we, we're so trying to put it on the back burner because we have so, so many other things in front of our face that need our attention that we don't have time to deal with um, emotional issues. And so we sweep them under the rug and we sweep them under the rug until that rug becomes a big old heaping mess, right? Yes, yes. And then all of a sudden it just exudes and pours out of us and we can't take it anymore. We have a nervous breakdown or our stress gets the better of us. We just can't take it. And so it's really nice to be able to connect that organ with the emotion and help somebody get through that process, but make it a lot easier. Using the essential oils, it really helps that whole transformation and that whole um, process occur um, without having, um, you know, so much, you know, it's, negative response, yeah, you yeah. know, it's, it's more positive. It's more mm -hmm. nurturing. It's more loving. It's more, um, it's more calm. And it's funny. I'm going to share that I use it. I also have a, a compass at home and I'm blessed. I actually see my clients and I put them on different plans and I cheat. I put them on the scanner when I go see them. And I can tell if they fought with somebody, if they're upset, if they're holding something in, because it does just that. Like you put it on there and it will disclose. So I had a couple I was working with and um, they were on the regimen. They were doing so good. I scanned her husband and he was fine. Then I scanned the wife and a bunch of different oils started coming up like console, forgive, uh, passion. And I'm like, something happened here. Because sometimes you don't want to verbalize what you're feeling inside. 
for many reasons. One, I can handle it. Don't worry, it's not that serious, whatever. But your body, even though you think you're okay mentally, your mm-hmm. body's hurting. Mm-hmm. And there's it's a way. It. Yeah, and some yeah. people don't want to share, like, this mm-hmm. is what hurts. This mm-hmm. is what I'm hurting. They don't want to because they might feel inferior or, like, you know, weak or whatever. So, again, like Dina mentioned, when you know what the body's, because the body's telling you, right? The body's telling you, the subconscious is coming out to tell you, then you, as a healthcare provider, she's she's a nurse, I'm a therapist, we can say, hey, how are you feeling? And you can, we already know something else is going on, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes body language is good. Some people verbalize, but when they don't, this is our go-to right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, really excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. So the report is really cool. Um, So like I said, with the foods, we're gonna kind of go back to the foods a little bit. Um, Each food is scaled. So it's scaled either positive or negative, okay? And then each positive or negative number is high, low, in between, okay? And so like I said, anything like negative 10 and above, um, I've seen numbers negative 1500 for corn. Okay, so imagine now we have a lot of genetically modified corn, hybridized corn, we have hybridized wheat, we have genetically modified wheat, we, you know, we're seeing more and more uh, modifications, hybridizations to our food, making them unrecognizable to our bodies. Okay, and so that's where we get into a lot of trouble, that's why we're seeing high amounts of eczema, skin rashes that dermatologists have no idea what they're from, uh, that's because they're coming from foods that we're eating. Okay. And so I love that. Um, and Michelle's on here. Hi, Michelle. Uh, Michelle works with a, uh, doctor, a, um, cardiologist who is all about preventing and, um, rehabbing after a heart attack or even, even before a heart attack occurs, you know? So what she does is she works with her clients and puts them on a regimen and she tells them, I want you to eliminate only two of your top negative foods the first week, which is really nice because you're going to have this big old huge list of negative foods. And sometimes it can be very overwhelming. Where do I begin? Oh my gosh, I've been eating bananas, you know, for the last 20 years. Now you're telling me I can't eat a banana, you know, and people start (laughs) freaking out. And so what we do is we say, okay, you know what? Um, let's get rid of at least two of those foods today. And for this first week and then next week we're going to eliminate two more and so it's been a huge huge blessing for these people now she works in a center that does have a whole entire weight loss program and the people that are doing the food scan with their weight loss program are losing two pounds a week more than the people who don't have their food scan so imagine being able to know exactly what your body is asking for mm-hmm. and then being able to deliver. It's genius, right? <laughs> so I've had, I've had a couple of clients too, um, not trying to lose weight. And uh, one of them, he gave up um, beef was a really big negative. He's Hispanic. He's like, you know, that's all we eat is beef. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> you know, he's like, but I'm going to try it anyway. That was this one food that he gave up for the month. He lost 22 wow. pounds, okay? And when I rescanned him, because he wanted, he wanted in 30 days, he wanted another scan to see if anything had changed. And, it, you know, he was like, I feel so much better. It's, my scan's got to look great, you know? And so when he came back and did his 30-day uh, reevaluation, he had lost the 22 pounds. And he had told me, even if it says I can eat meat, I probably won't eat it. That is how good I feel. I have awesome. never felt this good in my life. He had energy, he had focus, he felt alive, and he just was, he was just amazed at just what changing a couple of things in his diet did for him. And I love how you do that, because it's true, like, I'm one to be, like, all gun ho all for mm-hmm. all or nothing, you know? Yeah. And she did tell me, just change, make little changes here and there because you do get overwhelmed with all the negative foods that come out if you're used to eating them, as she mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. So my scan was totally different than my husband's and my daughter. So now we're looking at three different people in one household who have completely different food scans. And I'm like, how am I gonna do this? She's just like, take a couple of things here and there and start making those changes. And it was, it was mm-hmm. through your guidance mm-hmm. and those little changes mm-hmm. where my body just started drastically changing. I was more regular. My skin started getting better. My hair stopped falling out. So I mean, little things, everybody right now is so big on gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, but what about everything else? Like mm-hmm. I would have never yeah. thought that spinach was causing me inflammation. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. My first scan I had, it was like, you need to have, eat ginger. And I'm like, ew, I hate ginger. So she recommended ginger oil uh-huh. and I hated you for, you know, a couple, a couple days. Cause mm-hmm. ginger was like, ugh. 
But the minute I started consuming that ginger oil, my stomach all of a sudden stopped blowing up every mm -hmm. time I ate. No so it was a love-hate relationship. Like I loved her for telling me about ginger, but I hated her for making me eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so little things like that, guidance that can come from, you know, with her experience as a nurse and a holistic coach. And she's trying to get everybody, you know, pretty much feeling, feeling just great again. Like she mentioned one man couldn't eat meat. That's mm -hmm. my problem. I can't eat meat. But she can eat meat and her body's fine with it, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's really neat how uniquely we're all designed. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so grateful for this tool. Yes, yes, absolutely. So our advanced scan looks um, similar to this, okay? And so uh, what we're looking at here is we tested um, 645 biomarkers and I believe 507 came back out of range. And those, so that's represented by all those red dots outside the circle. So what we want to do is we want to move all those dots inside the circle and balance them okay and so the the computer basically the software tells us basically from your body asking for it exactly how to do that it's saying I would like these products I would like these tools I would like these modalities I would like this as my um, form of exercise and um, emotionally this is what I'm dealing with so it's really nice. It's everything that your body's asking for. So that's the nice thing. I don't have to know you. I don't have to know anything about you. You're going to tell me everything I need to know all through this. Okay? So, and I want you to notice, look at the gluten intolerance. So just this person here, once we eliminate the gluten, that's going to balance 39 of those biomarkers that are out of range. So 39 of those red dots are going to come into balance with just getting rid of gluten. So it's a big, big, huge issue. Now this is someone who struggles with focus and then also thyroid. So, um, and then we have um, cassia. Cassia is another one that's very antifungal, antiviral. And so basically it's telling me exactly what your body is asking for. We get a breakdown and a list of what those products are gonna do for you, okay? And then my favorite part is we look at your organs and your glands, okay? And that's what this is gonna look like, okay? So the organs and glands, so what we wanna see is everything in this range here between the gray line and the red line in the green, okay? We don't wanna see nothing over that red line in the middle that indicates that that organ or gland is stressed. And so we notice that the joints and connective tissue, very top of the list, is a stressed organ or gland, right? And so what we're seeing is thyroid issue, gluten intolerance, the gluten then attacks the joints, and so that's really what is the underlying issue here, okay? So once we remove the gluten, the joints resolve themselves, all right? We're adding in good nutrients, um, your body absolutely has to have supplements. It has to. Our, our food is just way too depleted to absorb what we need to absorb. Plus, our absorptions are really, really um, terrible right. eating the standard American diet. So it's imperative that you do have good supplementation. And I travel all over the world to find supplementation that is ideal. I try it. I put it up against what I'm currently using. And so far, I have not had anything even come close to the beneficial, um, uh, basically outcomes that I've had with what I'm currently using. So, um, it, it's been phenomenal. I've been able to get people who've had horrible autoimmune struggles, their bodies just constantly attacking themselves in horrific pain all the time, crippled, not being able to walk can't do the hobbies that they love to do, no woodworking, no sewing, nothing using their hands. They're um, just just devoid of any energy at all. They don't, some of them are, are extremely depressed. They don't want to go on living um, because they're in so much pain. And we've been able to get them out of that place mm -hmm. and restore their lives for the better. And it's been absolutely phenomenal. It's been a huge blessing. And so if you know somebody in that position, we want to help you help them. Okay. And it's so scary. Like this part right here, I'm sure they can see it right here. If you guys can see that right there on top, like she tests so many things. And a lot, what a lot of people don't know is that the food you're consuming or the, you know, what, what you're lacking in as far as your physical manifest mentally and emotionally, a lot of ailments come from poor diets. Like, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, 
symptoms of or, or uh, struggles with depression and things of that nature have a lot to do with the foods you're eating. So your body is going to tell us, stop feeding me this because it makes me feel horrible. Um, this is hurting. My, my joints hurt. My, and, and all... She, she has no idea who you are mm -mm. or anything, mm -mm. but we're going to allow your body to speak. Life is so crazy and it's so busy that sometimes our body's telling us things and we're just not prepared to listen. So if you have technology like this that can come and ask your body, what's hurting? Is your brain okay? Is your heart okay? How does your liver feel? How do mm -hmm. your joints feel? Mm -hmm. How does your heart feel? Like This is what it literally does. It literally asks your body, how are you? What can I do? What do you need? And your body's like, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Somebody's listening, you know? And it, it is. It's manifested through the report. And that's where Dina comes in and tells you exactly what your body needs, what it's asking for, what you're doing to hurt it. But not just that. She tells you how to do or what to how do to fix, to fix it. it yeah. You know, yeah. not a band-aid, not a prescription drug yeah. with side effects, not like too bad, so sad, you have this ailment. You can restore your health. And this is one of the tools that you can use to start doing that today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we also look at your vertebrae. Okay. And so um, we can see in the spots that are yellow that there's some inflammation. And then we go over how to tackle that as well. And then your teeth, because everything in your body is completely connected. Your teeth, your organs, your glands, your meridians, your vertebrae, they're all connected. And so we look at all those different things, okay? And then also, too, emotionally. What are we doing emotionally? This, this is showing basically where our deeper subconscious emotions are lying, okay? And um, how we can tackle those as well, all right? So it's a very extensive report. I email you a copy of this. We go over it in detail. Um, I can even record the session uh, through a Zoom chat. I, I can send my hand cradle out to anywhere in the United States and remotely scan you from your PC computer. It'll, it does not work from Mac, but it does work from PC. So if you have a PC and that's something that you would like to do, please get in contact with me and we will set up a way to get you a hand cradle and get you started. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are currently in Texas. Um, this is where Dina lives and I'm staying with her for a few weeks to kind of just figure out how we're going to take care of or, or execute the mission that we feel God's calling us to do is to go out there and help people restore mm -hmm. their health physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We want the whole body to be restored. Mm -hmm. And we have a blessed with the, with the knowledge and the wisdom in our years of working with individuals to be able to bring results, right? To be able mm -hmm. to bring tools, to be able to bring information, awareness. I mean, awareness is key. Once you know what's going on, then together we'll, we'll work together to fix it, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you do have a better quality of life. Um, we will be traveling to California. We're flying out on the 13th. So mm -hmm. next week on Monday, mm -hmm. we're flying out to California and Dean is going to hang out with me for a week. So if any of you are interested in coming and meeting her and sitting down and getting scanned, right now is the time to reach out so we can schedule an appointment. I am in Victorville, California, and we are willing to travel if you have a few people that want to get scanned. I know when I first met her, mm -hmm. um, I had an oil party at my house, mm -hmm. and I think you scanned about 10 people. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, oh my people. gosh, everybody her, comes no, everybody I know, so excited. Yeah. So Dina was there until super late at night. Let me tell you, when this girl starts scanning, like it doesn't matter if she's scanning for 20 hours. She's there, and mm -hmm. she will give you the same quality of service she did her first client. So she mentioned you can also do it later on through Zoom, which is also phenomenal, but it's like having her there, you yeah, know, because then you can yeah. pick her brain. So if you guys are interested, <laughs> we are going to be there March 13th through the 18th, 17th, 17th or 18th, or 18th. We're not sure um, depending on, on how busy we get. So reach out to us. It's a first come, first serve. And we are really, really lo looking forward to praying over you, praying over your lives and the decision on... Uh, the decision for you to jump on board and take control of your health. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure mm -hmm. hanging out with you guys today. Did you want yeah. to close with anything? Well, you know, or? I just want to say it is, it has been an absolute blessing. Like I, I think about all the lives that we've touched. Um, like I, I've told you, I have over 2000 clients and, um, they're not just clients, they're friends. And, and that's the nice thing about, being able to give my tools, like what I've learned, what God's blessed me with, my talents, my strengths, and, and be able to share those with you. Because um, to me, it's, it's easy. It's, 
it's like the back of my hand, but for other people, they struggle and it's not like the back of their hand, but I want you to be successful and I want you to be healthy. And I, I believe God wants everybody to be healthy. I mean, I know that. And so, um, any way that we can help you, if you even want to come and just pick our brain and just come and learn more and not get the scan, we can help you that way as well. Right. Um, I mean, honestly, we're all about paying it forward and being able to help you get out of whatever hell it is that, that maybe your body is acting up and, and causing for you. So um, if, if you know that is something that interests you as well, if you just want to come hang out, um, your family, you're more than welcome to come <laughs> sit with us, pick our brain, just chit chat, get whatever off your chest, whatever that is. And, um, we'd love to, to sit with you and, and we look forward to meeting up with you. Right. On mm -hmm. this page, I have, um, some events that I've created. So we're going to be really busy next week, but if you could jump on one of those events, or if you want to host something at your house, let us know. We can do scans, we can do oil information, product information, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you need. We're there to service you, so reach out to us, let us know. I know I have a couple booked in Hesperia, Rancho Cucamonga. Um, mm -hmm. I have one in Covina. Yeah, and you're welcome to come to any of those events as yes. well. Those yes. are open events to, to everybody. Mm -hmm, to everybody. To everybody, so. anybody. So those people that are hosting these are like, everybody's welcome. Come on down. So the, uh, depending mm -hmm. on how many show up, we have a really, uh, it, it could be an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how much content there is and how many questions there is. But you are really 